solution of exam 13. Okay, I open any directory. Practical part, obviously. Backslash, backslash, ubz01 fst. Since I am at home and not at the university, I have also to digit dot ubz.it. Okay, courses. Exam Coletti. So it's not in exams. You don't find it. in exams, not even me, I can I can't enter, as you can see. Courses, exam Coletti. There is a long list of names, find yourself. Okay. And now copy the files that you find here on your desktop. If your desktop is a mess, build a directory and copy them inside the directory. Okay. Now that I've copied, I don't close this window here, I just iconize it. And I work only on this one. Okay. Access. Enable content. Create query one that displays the customer with a reparation ended before today, but still not paid. Okay, create query design customers. I need customers, then I need uh, the car plates, so the cars and the reparation. I need also the ownership to connect customer with cars, obviously. Okay, let's put them in order. Op, op. Mm, what a mess. Okay, now, last name, first name, car plate, and then I need uh, the cost, and uh, ended before today, and still not paid. So for paid, I put no, okay, and I unselect. Also this one ended before, Today, today it's date, or oh, now, okay. Now, if I click run, the result will be different than what should be during the exam, because the exam is supposed to be on the 1st of February, or I don't remember, on the 2nd of February. So, in order to see the right exam result, okay, 17 record as written here, okay. I leave date. Okay, okay, done, I save, query one, close. Build a summary query which calculates how many hours each mechanic has worked on each car. Okay, so create query design, mechanics, repairs, in charge, I would suggest, there is work hours. Well, first of all, let's put first name, last name. Uh, there are no fields specified. You can put all the fields if you want. And then in the report, you fill the report as in the picture. Okay, or you can put only the necessary fields. Uh, ah, also car plate. Where is the car plate? Uh -uh, we have also to add table cars. Car plate. Or you can take also car from here. It's the same plate. So it's not necessary to add table cars. If you want, you can take cars from here and this will be the plate. Okay, summary. I may calculate the sum on this field here. Run. Okay, well, let's just change the order. Okay. Okay, I save. I assign a name, uh, query two is okay. And now on this query, I build a report, so report wizard from query two, all the fields. Next, sorted by last name, first name. Uh, 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 why? No, car should be not, okay. Last name, first name. No particular order. The name is report one. Finish. Let me okay, can't post the video. Okay, let's see. Basile Eduardo. Okay, the order of the cars is not the same because I have uh, put here and there, but seems okay. I save. 
and close. Okay, let's go on. Modify table of a person, insert the validation rule that checks that end is after start or equal. Okay, it's a validation rule which involves two fields. Thus, uh, I can't uh, insert it uh, here. Okay, I must insert it as a table validation rule. Or equal. Okay, I save and now it asks me whether I want to test the data integrity. There is a hint here not to do it. Okay, I close. Since I don't trust access, I want to recheck whether it's still there. Yes, the validation rule is still here. Okay, create query two of them. So I can't call this query two. I have to rename it to query for report. And let's see whether the report still works. Yes, it still works. Create query two to list the customers without cars. Oh, so create query design cars. Ownership, customers. Okay. Well, customer without cars, you need a left-right join. So I need uh, all the customers and not all the cars. So op. all the record from customers. Same thing here, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay. Oops, not the other one. Okay. Now, uh, which fields? No particular hint, so I put last name, first name, okay, and tax code, just to put something. Um, then I need to put a car plate, and car plate is null. Okay, so these are the customers who have a null car plate. Let's see how many. 265, fine. Save, query two, okay. Create query three, which displays all the records for which work hour is larger than the difference in hours between from and to. Okay, you can see in uh, table repair, in table uh, in charge, that there is work hours from to. It means that a mechanic can start uh, a reparation at certain time and end at another time, but not necessarily all the time in the middle is used as working hours. Or this is the query which shows the cheating. So when work hours is larger than the difference in hours between from and to. So create, query design, I need only the in charge. Okay, let's take the ID from to and work hours. Okay, and then work hours is larger than the difference, so date diff. Interval is hour. Date one is from and date two is. Two. I think no other thing is necessary. Let's see. Yeah, for example, here uh, it claims to be three hours and a half. 14, 15, 16. Yes, it's three hours and a half. Mm. Let's check because I don't remember whether date diff functions, building function, date time, date diff. Oh, 
Okay, hours H, so it's correct. So that's fine. So work hours larger than okay. How many records? 59, 59, fine. Save, quickly, exercise is over. Yes. Close access. I open R. Okay, either you have installed it on your computer or you have R portable. For example, let's open my R portable, which is about here. R portable. Okay. I load our commander. Okay, I change the working directory because you never know, sometimes it crashes, it really crashes eh, sometimes. Okay, now I load sleepquestionnaires.rdata. You can load it from here, in this case, it will be automatically set as active data set. You can load it from here. In this case, you will have then to set it as active data set. Let's load it from here. Okay. Let's take a look at it to see whether it's still the same. Yes, it's still the same. The one we're using class. Build a graph of variable weight, color green. Ah, I remind you that uh, you need also a text file, a um, text and graph file. Okay, let's save it. Exam. Okay. Uh, a graph of variable weight, variable weight, it's clearly um, scale variable, so I use the histogram. You can use also the box plot if you want. Uh, where is wait, 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 wait. Is there a color in the option? No, obviously not. Okay, here's the wonderful graph, but it's gray, unfortunately. So I change it, call equal green. Up. And here the graph, copy as bitmap, and I paste it here. Okay. Well, they just built a graph, so there is no analyze, so I don't need any comment. Well, it's almost normally distributed. Let's write it, but it's not needed. Eh? So. Almost because uh, it is missing. The left tail. Obviously, since these are adult people, nobody weights less than 40 kilograms. So, okay. Let's go on. Convert variable weight rate into an ordered factor using the numbers themselves as labels. Okay. A data, manage variable in active data set. Convert numeric variable to factors. Weight rate, use numbers. Oh, no, supply level names or use the numbers. Yes. Okay, so. Okay. Done, I think. An ordered factor, sorry. So we have to put here ordered up. Up. Resubmit. Let's see. LS dot star. This shows you the structure of all the variables that you have inside. So, 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 where is it? Wait, wait. Is there a wait, wait here? Ah, yes, wait, wait, ordered factor with nine levels. Two, three, four, five, okay, fine. 
Okay, just to, as a, to mention it, I have converted weight, weight into ordinal variable. Okay, save. By the way, I also save here the script. Exam dot R and the output exam dot txt. Okay, let's go on. Check whether there is a relation between education level and marital status. Okay, education level and marital status are two nominal variables. Or better, education level is an ordinal variable, however, we will treat it as a nominal, as since it has a few categories. And since there is really no relation, but no, no numerical relation between the, among the categories. So it's a uh, take contingency table. Two way, education level, and Marisha status. Okay, key square, because uh, I have to check whether there is a relation. Oh, well, no, I don't have to test, so let's, I will change, I'm changing now the exam text and I will write test, so you need also the key square. What about row percentages and column percentages? Well, usually it's pretty clear that one variable influences the other. In this case, no. In this case, honestly, it can, usually it's marital, it's education level which influences marital status because first you study and then you get married. But there are people who first get married and then study. So it's pretty difficult. So you choose one of the two and you comment concerning what you have. So I choose uh, all percentages. Okay. Now let's... Okay, this is pretty irrelevant. The frequency table. Well, let's leave it, but it's too important. Row percentages. Here we have. Okay, let's put the comment here. Uh, well, what can we say? Mm, let me see. Among the single married. Uh, no. Among the people with a primary school, one third, one third, one third, but there are only three people, so it doesn't really, it's not really necessary. So, among the post graduate graduated people, the majority is married. This percentage drops. For the undergraduate people, postgraduate, undergraduate. Okay. And rises again for, I uh, know, for a post secondary training. Decreasing. Again, for secondary school, primary has only three cases and is meaningless. Okay, let's see. Divorced people, well, divorced people are more frequent among um, degreed people. Okay. Well, this is what can we say about these percentages. So it seems that uh, people with a degree tends to divorce more than people without a degree. And it's not clear here this up and down effect. Okay, let's see the key square test. The key square test says uh, each zero hypothesis, okay, um, two variables, distribution, is independent. So, the classification of degrees, it's independent from the classification of marital status. 
Okay, we eject with significance of 0 0.00059. This means that we are pretty sure that the true classification in Okay, one influences the other. In this case, it's one of the rare cases in which it's difficult to say which one influences which one. I save. Okay. Let's see. Um, there is, uh, however, a theoretical problem here that you shouldn't have uh, situations like this, so with a lot of small of few cases. Okay. The theoretical count should always be larger than 5. Uh, however, here R doesn't show it. I just mentioned it. I don't remember whether I did it in class or not. If I did it, you must write it. If I didn't, you are exonerated from writing it. However, theoretical count must be at least 5 for each cell. The observed count several cells were test could not be done. Okay, in theory, we have to check the theoretical count. R doesn't show us the theoretical count. But so we, ch we check the observed count a lot of one, one, zero, one, 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 two, two. Mm. These are things that also the theoretical count will be very small. So the key square in theory doesn't work. Okay, let's go on. Record variab variables, our wind, our when, our need into factors with two levels, few up to five, many, five and larger. Oh, this is a massive recording. Our NIT, our AND, our NEED. Okay, just write it to remember that I did it, but that I will do it now. Data, manage variables in activity data set, Mm, or is it bin numeric variable? Can it be? No, 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 no. Record variables. How I need, how we, how we can. Prefix it's rec underscore. Make it a new variable factor. Okay, yes. The recording directive. Suppose that you don't remember it, what do you do? Well, you look in my slides, and you ha should have it print and printed. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Record. Here you have. Oh, let's see the recording directive. Okay, it's simply 8 colon 27 equal high. So you just write here low colon 5 equal few. 6 colon high equal many. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I don't trust myself, so I check. The first person has 999, so it should be many, many, many. Many, many, many. A lot of people are many. Oh, some are few. This claim to, to sleep less than five hours. Ah, there are people with 5.5.
okay didn't expect it so i will modify it directly from here 5.001 5.001 5.001 okay let's see like this you this is the reason why it's always a good idea to take a look at your data after you've done modifications test whether there is an average difference person by person between variables our knit and our vend Okay, so we have to test the difference between two variables, or the relation between two variables, but the, the, the fact that I mentioned the average difference, sure, it's a strong hint that the test needed here, it's a student test for two coupled variables. So, statistics, pair the test between our NIT and our weekend okay options decided okay okay let's op let's write the h0 hypothesis okay average difference between variable our need and how and is zero okay do the test p value extremely small you can see the average difference is minus zero comma eighty three significance is well okay h0 is rejected this implies that there is a significant significant difference between the the diff uh, right, or better average difference the average difference of, of, of the difference of averages is the same eh? the average difference of the two variables person by person is significant significant different so the difference is different from zero it means that there is a difference, basically, person by person. This difference is negative. Well, this here it depends on how we did the test. Okay. Let me see. I tested our NIT and our WAND. So this one minus this one, meaning that the people sleep on average 0 0.88 hours more on weekends. Sample difference is negative. People sleep significantly, significantly, zero point eight three hours more during weekend. Okay, save and go on. Supposing now that your data set is the entire population, not only a sample, the fact that I write this sentence is not uh, just because I have space to fill, but because it changes things completely. Check whether the average weight changes with marital status. Is by marital status. It means that since your sample is the entire population, you don't have to do any statistical test. Statistical tests are meaningless, okay? Because you have the entire population under control. So here you just check the, the, the means and you are fine. So now my data set is the entire population. 
So, uh, you data set are represented by a population. Statistics means so you don't have to do any test. Okay, let's see. Uh, numerical summaries. Yes, summarized by groups. Marisha. Wait. I just need the mean. I don't need even the standard deviation you don't need. Okay. Well, it still displays several other things not required. So I do not need any test. I just display means and take my conclusion. Oh. So even these things here are not necessary. Okay, so my conclusion are that married people are fatter. It's pretty evident. Single people are the second fattest. Slightly more than divorced. Widow are the thinner, thinnest. This is the entire population, so these are all the widows people I want to consider in my complete research. So I want to consider only these eight people. And they are thinner than the other one. They are on average fatter. Are the thinnest, comma, on average. Okay, because there could be a single widow which is very fat. Okay, this one don't need it anymore. And let's go on. Load the data set child from package car. Here, not here. Okay. Well, just to right here. Build a new variable called income true equal to the logarithmic of income inside the data set. So pretty easy. So statistics, uh, sorry, data, compute new variable, new variable name, income true, income. I don't remember whether logarithm is log or ln. Here I don't specify which logarithm, base true, base e, base 10. So just I write log, let's see whether it works. Seems to work. Let's take a look at it. Yes. Well it seems to be the logarithm. I don't know whether it's natural logarithm or base 10 logarithm. However, who cares? The professor didn't specify it. So income two is log income. Okay, save. Check using two non graphical methods where the variable income true is normally distributed. So, two non graphical methods. So, two non graphical methods are skewness and kurtosis and the, uh, uh, and the test. Okay, let's start with skewness and kurtosis. I don't even need anything else. Quantiles. Okay, skewness is very close to zero. Kurtosis is slightly smaller than zero, meaning that the distribution point is flat, meaning that distribution is symmetric. 
almost let's say almost slightly flat okay so not a good ketosis just for my personal curiosity it's not required it's only for my personal curiosity i will plot, plot the histogram but it's only for my personal curiosity yeah? But yes, seems normal. Well, there are a lot of things missing here. Okay, now I hide it so the professor doesn't see the plot of the histogram. I hide it also from here. You can hide things also from the output. Eh? So now, by the way, let's save everything before the computer crashes. Um, ah, the add-on on graphical method, statistics, uh, non-parametric test, uh, where is, where is, where is, uh, oh. I don't find the test. Hmm. When these things happen to you, what do you do? You open the slide and you take a look at the slide. I think it's in the last slide. Okay, Shapiro Wilcox normality test. I prefer another one, but it's not present in R. Statistic summaries, Shapiro Wilcox statistics. Ah, it's here. Okay. Okay, let's see. Here, H0. Distribution is normal. It's normal with mu equal to its mean and uh, sigma equal to standard deviation. Okay, Shapiro Wilkerson uh, significance is very, very, very small. Rejected. Sorry, distribution is not normal. Save. Over. Close. Save script as. Save output as. And save also the data workspace. Okay, I can close everything here. Already saved, already, no, no care, I already saved. Okay, these are not necessary, these are my slides, they are portable. Okay, do you have everything? Car workshop, have, exam, I did, I have everything. Okay, now I copy everything back, since I was smart enough to have things here, I tuck, just copy. Make sure that you're copying from your desktop. First of all, don't copy the directory, please. Then make sure you're copying from your desktop to the network folder and not vice versa. Okay, it will ask you whether you want to overwrite. Okay, you check are you copying from your desktop to the network folder or vice versa. Okay, several people fail because uh, they copy vice versa. Replace. If you copy vice versa, once you click replace, it's gone. Okay, exam is over.